40 of that if i could uh, i'm just going to take you through the section i'm sure you're already fairly uh, well read and well acquainted with it but just for the viewers that this particular section it says that uh, the decision if a property is work property or uh, regarding this the board may itself collect information regarding any property which it has reason to believe to be work property and if any question arises whether a particular property is work property or not or whether a work is a sunni or a shia it may that is the board may after making such inquiry as it may deem fit decide the question this and one other provision in the act which is section 52a which provides for penalty for alienation of work property without sanction of the board so there are actually penalties imposed for alienating the work property without the sanction of the board which is why we have a situation wherein a poor farmer in tamil nadu who wants to sell his land and get money to fund his daughter's probably marriage probably looking at rigorous imprisonment for two years absolutely i mean he's not <laughs> able to sell his own land because apparently the whole village is worth property i am uh, this this sort uh, thing is, are, are there any such provisions in any other laws uh, governing religious bodies or supposedly regulating religious uh, religious uh, properties i don't think there are such uh, provisions in any other law the there power, are none. no the to impose penalties and uh, there's also uh, so apparently you can also be imprisoned for a period of 2 years for selling uh, your own absolutely this is uh, it doesn't matter if you have the patta in your name it doesn't matter the property is on their list so it's there section 52a of the work act it says that notwithstanding anything contained contained in the code of civil or uh, the code of criminal procedure that is crpc any offence punishable under this section shall be cognizable and non bailable non bailable yeah. <laughs> so as far as you know i guess it's not as if we don't have but i think we have a tribunal in tmhrc we have a tribunal but uh, i think it only decides uh, about the rental issues and the you know rental properties that are uh, the temple properties that have been rented out to people and if there are issues with that which is definitely one of the uh, subjects that a tribunal can handle it constitution by the way but uh, what this tribunal has is entirely a different story and only thing that a civil uh, judge or the district magistrate get to do is to you know ensure that the decree by this tribunal is uh, you know enacted enacted or what do we call that so essentially these are powers and uh, you know which are unsurpassed which are not there for or which are not enjoyed by members of any other community so we hope that something is done about the whole thing in the supreme court Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.